All right, so it's time to start testing our copper, silver, and gold filaments. So we're going to start with copper. Again, this is the Mika 3D 1.7 millimeter silk PLA, it's shiny. And so we need to unload our white PLA that came with the uh, printer. And we'll save that for prototyping. And first we need to unload the filament. So we say unload. And we'll start heating up. <clears throat> and we can get the old filament out. So let's do that. I'll show you. So what I usually do is set the um, print head in the middle and then move the move the the uh, print bed up close to it so because it's easier to get the smaller reels out from underneath the print bed so so some material is going to drip down so we also want to catch it so we want to make sure the print head is over the printing bed while you're either loading or unloading the filament so we'll just wait for it to heat up and then we'll go from there all right see that so we push this button down over here we push it down a little bit to get make sure it's liquid and we pull it up rapidly like that. And then we uh, get rid of this string. We gotta take this, it's a little short tube, remember, is to prevent erosion into this little hole here where the filament goes into the printhead. So we'll save this little plastic tube for the next filament. That's it for this one. I'll switch down down below so I get it out. Okay, if you remember from our previous video, we've got these. Uh, ABS uh, Omni stand installed. So I'm turning this ready to get this get this uh, post out rod and the, and the spacer, the fender washer is what I call that. There's the insert that goes into the reel. So we'll save that. And we'll put this out through the straw in the back. I'll take this out. There's our other spacer that went down. We're gonna make sure we put make sure we put the end of the filament through this little hole so it doesn't get tangled up. That could be a problem. I'll cut the end of this off later. So I'm cut that off. So. Went through this little hole to keep it from getting tangled up. So here's our new reel. This is also a half kilogram reel. So we need to chop off the end of it, make it straight. Let's use our nippers. In. And as I said before, I find it better to put the end through the straw before we try to put it on the uh, stand so that it doesn't get tangled up. So I'm going to put this in the straw first. So that's one thing out. So we'll feed into the head in a minute there. So now we've got our spacer. This is a little bit wider than the other one, but it's not that much wider. So we're going to put the spacer on this side. We're going to put this insert into the middle of the reel. Fortunately, this insert is maybe this is standard. This little snugger, snug, more snug than the uh, than the other one, but. Uh, does fit in there. Okay, then we put our rods, a 100 millimeter rod, and our uh, fender washer. It goes in here. And then we put the spacer on the back side. And since this is a small reel, we should be able to put it down at the bottom of the wall again. Just turning freely. Alright, so then we'll move up to the top and load up the filament. Alright, so on the menu, we started over here, we said filament. Load the filament. It's already heated up because we were heated it up for. Uh, it's already heated up. Just get 
As you know, Phil, we cut it off cleanly, we feed it in through here, push this button down. And the, the little motor that's pulling it through is already going. Alright, then we can uh, look down below, it should be dripping out. Yeah, so we want to make sure we get all the white out of there. So it's coming out of copper now. There's a little bit of white string left over from the unloading. So I think we're done with that. Well, that looks good. All right, so uh, we need to figure out what temperature we're going to print our temperature tower at. That's our first test. And this is the silver, but it's the same as the other one. So it says the printing temperature is between 200 and 235. So the PLA, we were testing at a much lower temperature. In fact, we were printing it at 200, the white PLA. So this may be, this needs a little bit higher temperature. So just 220. So we should probably do our temperature tower between 200 and 235. And I suggest the bed temperature of 50 to 60. So we're going to try 55. That was too low for the white filament, but a lower temperature, I'm assuming, will make it easier to get things off the bed. So we'll start with 55 and see what happens. We can always raise it up if we need to. So. All right, so uh, we need to figure out what temperature we're going to print our temperature tower at. That's our first test. And this is the silver, but it's the same as the other one. So it says the printing temperature is between 200 and 235. So the PLA, we were testing at a much lower temperature. In fact, we were printing it at 200, the white PLA. So this may be, this needs a little bit higher temperature. So just 220. So we should probably do our temperature tower between 200 and 235. And I suggest the bed temperature of 50 to 60. So we're going to try 55. That was too low for the white filament, but a lower temperature, I'm assuming, will make it easier to get things off the bed. So we'll start with 55 and see what happens. We can always raise it up if we need to. So, All right, so it's done. And uh, so again, we're going from 235 to 195. We need to remember that when we get into Simplify 3D. So we're going to export it to STL, which I already did. Switch over here. I've dropped it into Simplify 3D. We need to add a process setting. We want to use the uh, temperature tower, because that has a bunch of uh, different temperatures for different layers. Uh, but we're going to um, save this as a new one, because we want to use it for our, our uh, Eka 3D copper PLA. And we need to set the temperatures for the layers, so we'll go to the temperature one. Now for the build platform, remember we wanted to change that to 55. We'll, we'll do another test later to, to dial that in, but we'll start with 55. And the shooter has all these layer temperatures, so we need to match these up to our layers here. It doesn't do it happen automatically. So we're going to start the recommended temperature for the bay for the uh, For the filament that was on the reel was 220. So we'll start with the base at 220. And then we'll do 235. And we don't need this last one, so. All right, so we'll double check again. So we're starting at 220, which is our the nominal temperature on the reel. We're going to go to 235, then 230, 225, 220, 250, 210, 200, or 205, 200. Yeah, that looks good. So we're going to say, uh, update that profile. All right, so now when it prints, it'll print the base at 220. Once it gets up to this layer, it'll print, uh, it'll print this at 235, between the bridge and the pointy penny and so on all the way. We go to prepare to print, and we'll connect to the printer. There's uh, 322 layers. So 
So we'll go back to the printer using our trick. Ready to connect. Oops, try it again there. Ah, not working. So let's um, let's reboot the printer, and then we'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and do this. I won't bother to show you, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get started. tower is done. Get it off of there. It's coming off pretty easy so so far I like this 55 degree C 55 degree C uh, bed temperature. So let's take a look at it. Uh, 220 is what they recommended and the bridge looks good at 220. Yeah, let's see. The pointy thing, pointy tower, looks pretty good all the way up. There's not a huge variation. I like the shiny copper. That's going to come out great for what we're going to use it for. I think 220 is okay. There's a little bit of sagging on 215. And it's definitely sagging. Yeah, it's definitely the higher temperatures is not quite as smooth underneath the bridge. So, all right, we'll go with 220 for now. And then now we need to do the uh, bed adhesion test. So we'll do. We're going to use the bed leveling program to do the bed adhesion test. So that's next. That's a, that's a quick test, it only takes five minutes, and it tells whether a thin layer of filament is sticking to the bed. So we're, 55 looks fine, but let's go ahead and do that test. See, the bottom is really clean. This is just a little dribble from when it dragged over the filament and the blob removal line. 